everyone. It's me Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this new video, we will learn how to make our own IoT based electricity energy meter using ESP32 and monitor data on the Blink application. With the current technology, you need to go to the meter reading room and take down readings. Thus, monitoring and keeping track records of your electricity consumption is a tedious task. To automate this, we can use the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things saves our time and money by automating remote data collection. Smart Energy Meter has received quite a lot of acclaim across the globe in recent years. So why not to build our own IoT based electricity energy meter? For this, we need to select the current sensor as well as the voltage sensor so that the current and voltage can be measured and thus we can know about the power consumption and total power consumed. The best current sensor available in the market is SCT013. This is a SCT013 non-invasive AC current sensor, plate core type clamp meter sensor which can be used to measure AC current up to 100 amperes. Similarly, the best voltage sensor is the AC voltage sensor module ZMP T101B. The ZMP T101B AC voltage sensor is the best where we need to measure the accurate AC voltage with a voltage transformer. Using the SCT013 current sensor and ZMP T101B voltage sensor, we can measure all the required parameters needed for the electricity energy meter. We will interface the current sensor and voltage sensor with ESP32 Wi-Fi module and send the data to Blink application. The Blink application dashboard will display the voltage, current, power, and total unit consumed in kilowatt hour. Isn't it a great way to monitor the power consumption at your home? So now without getting any delay, let's get started with this great project. This video is sponsored by Next PCV. Let's cheers for the Thanksgiving Day and the coming Christmas Day. As the holiday is all around us, Next PCV prepares massive gift for you. Cheers for the Christmas part. If you place the order on the Next PCV website, you can get the following three gifts. Gift A is the dollar ten coupon. Gift B is dollar twenty cash plus ten points. Gift C is dollar sixty cash plus. 10 points for pcv order they give 15 percent off for pcv assembly order 10 percent off everyone will get three chances to participate in the lucky draw you can get up to dollar 50 off for components and other gift you can check here how to get the three chances to participate in the lucky draw currently there is a pcv design contest on instagram from next pcv you can follow the instagram page and follow the rules to participate and win a lot of gift let's just see the SCT-013 current sensor. So this is the sensor that I recently purchased. It is a non-invasive AC current sensor, split core type clamp meter sensor that can be used to measure AC current up to 100 ampere. Current transformer sensor are for measuring the alternating current. I have the pair of sensor that you can see here. One can measure up to 30 ampere and other can be measure up to 100 ampere. The sensor is an analog type and can be interfaced with the analog pin of any controller. The SCT-013 current sensor can be clipped straight either to the live or neutral wire without having to do any high voltage electrical work. Like any other transformer, this sensor has a primary winding, a magnetic core, and a secondary winding. You just need to place a current carrying wire into this hole. The end of the sensor has a pin out of 3.5 mm audio jack. I think this audio jack may not be useful to me. So cut the audio jack using the cutter. So here you can see it is having three wires of different color. One of the wire here is useless so I will remove this wire. Alright we have three wires left which are only needed. Now let's just see the voltage sensor. So this is the ZMP T101B single phase AC voltage sensor. This module is based on high precision voltage transformer used to measure the accurate AC voltage with a voltage transformer. The modules can measure the voltage within 250 volt AC voltage and the corresponding analog output can be adjusted. It has two headers for connecting the AC voltage lines and has four pins as VCC, OUT, ZND and ZND where the output voltage is analog. Apart from these two sensors, we need ESP32 Wi-Fi module. The reason why I am not using ESP8266 for this project is because of the analog pin requirement. The ESP32 module has many analog pins whereas ESP8266 has a single analog pin. Both the chips have Wi-Fi features and can connect to a Wi-Fi network for IoT applications. Now let's just see the circuit diagram and set up the hardware. 
The circuit diagram has been designed using Fritzing software. The output pin of the voltage sensor is connected to ZPI035 of ESP32 and the output pin of the current sensor is connected to ZPI034 of ESP32. Apart from this, you can assemble the entire circuit as per the circuit diagram. So here is the circuit assembly. I assemble the circuit on breadboard. You can see here is the ESP32 Wi-Fi module. This is a 16 by 2 LCD display which is optional. There are three resistors and a capacitor. And then we have a voltage sensor and then a current sensor. And as a load, I used a bulb. I will measure the power consumption and all energy meter parameter using this bulb as a reference. There is no need of LCD. You can remove it from the project. You now need to install a Blink application on your Android or iPhone. Download it from the App Store and set it for a new project. In this coding part, we use the LCD library and assign the LCD pin. We also included the necessary libraries for ESP32 board. Imonlib handles the retrieval of data from the both sensors. Blink Simple ESP32 integrates the program to the Blink mobile app. The energy monitor object Imon is created and calibration factors are defined. The Blink timer object is then created to handle the sending of data to the Blink mobile app. Then, we define the SSID and password on our local Wi-Fi network and insert the authentication code from the Blink. The millis and kilowatt hour values have to be initialized. The kilowatt hour starts at zero and will slowly go up as time goes on. The values from the sensors are being retrieved and calculated. Using this function, the real power, apparent power, power factor, VRMS and IRMS are being calculated. We then use Blink Virtual Write to send the data to Blink based on the virtual pin set. Under the setup function, we initialized the serial baud rate and set the current and voltage sensor analog pin as ZPI034 and ZPI035. Then we set the timer to 5000L for an update time of 5 seconds. Inside the loop function, we are running the timer and Blink. Now it's time to upload the code. So connect the ESP32 to your computer. And then from the tools menu, select the ESP32 board and also select the COM board. Then hit the upload button. Once the code is uploaded, you are ready to test the device. So open your serial monitor. You can see the ESP32 board is connected to Wi-Fi and is sending the data to Blink Cloud. Initially, the sensor will show the wrong value. Then it will start showing the correct value. So here you can see the light is turned on. In the LCD display, you can see the power consumption and also the total kilowatt hour value. It is also displaying VRMS and IRMS value. The power and kilowatt hour value increases as the time goes on, and this kilowatt hour value is dependent upon the power. Similarly, on the serial monitor, the value of these all four parameters can be observed. You can verify the current voltage value using the standard multimeter. Apart from all this, the data can be monitored in Blink application. You can see here the voltage current and the power value displayed in GAUS or in numerical format. The energy meter data is uploaded to the Blink application after the interval of every 5 seconds. Thus, this is how you can make your own smart energy meter at your home to monitor your home electricity bill. That's all from today's video. Please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.